So two masking updates in ZBrush 2024. One of them is uh, I have my dog model here. I'm gonna hit W on my keyboard. And if I control drag down my dog, it will mask along the topology of the object. Now that isn't necessarily new. That's been in ZBrush for a long time. Um, same thing with your transpose. So speaking of been in ZBrush for a long time, by default, if we hit W, it goes into gizmo mode. This button right here, the hotkey for that is Y, will turn it into transpose mode. If you wanna know, I keep saying this, if you wanna know more about ZBrush, you can go check out this intro to ZBrush playlist on my uh, YouTube or go in here and type in transpose and it'll take you all the transpose videos you could ever want. But we're in transpose mode now and same deal. If I hold down control and drag, it will drag and mask along the object. Now, you'll probably notice the longer I drag, the blurrier that gradient gets. So that's the new part on this. So let's hit Y to switch back to gizmo mode. And again, control drag down the object uh, a short distance and then rotate. You'll see it'll give me a nice, it'll bend the leg where you would expect it. If I continue, to control drag down the object. You'll see that gradient gets longer and longer. So now when I bend the arm, it does a very <laughs> cartoony uh, bend, which of course you can use to your advantage, uh, maybe not in bending a leg case, but in other cases. So instead of what you'd have to do in the, in the old days, which is drag and then control tap to um, blur your object or go in here to masking and then uh, click blur mask a bunch of times to finally get, get a nice gradient. But you can go through here and just control drag and continue dragging until you get a very, very soft gradient. Now, there is one more awesome functionality of this. So say we're bending an object here, we're gonna hold down control drag and we wanna bend this arm. Instead of you know control dragging down the arm and then holding down alt and positioning the gizmo in the middle where a bone would be and then bending from that position, if you start dragging down an appendage and then let go of control, it will actually orient the gizmo to the object and place it right in the middle of the object. So super useful. Again, if I wanna go through here, just control drag down, let go of control, that'll position it in the middle and then you're bending uh, right down the middle uh, of the object. So that's, that's a huge, awesome update. Now I'm gonna switch over. We made this in another video. If you wanna go watch the repeat to similar parts video, you can see the making of this and this is another masking update. So if we go in here to masking, you're gonna see we have a, a grow all and a shrink all on our masking. So if I hold down control and I mask a bunch of these things, I can either anything that's been masked, I can go through here and I can grow mask like this, or I can grow mask all, and that will grow my mask to all individual components. So these things aren't vert welded. They're not part of each other. They're all separate objects. So if I want to grab all of these objects instead of what I had to do previous versions of ZBrush, hold down control shift, go into a visibility mode, grab a bunch of these, do control shift A, which instead of masking would be visibility grow all, and then control tap my document, control shift tap to bring everything else back, control tap to invert that mask, and now I can move these around. Instead of doing all of that, I can just mask all of these and then just say grow mask grow all, and then control tap to invert that. Um, also, there's a shrink all. So if you overshoot your mask and you just want the objects that are fully masked and just ignore the rest of them, do shrink all and it'll get rid of all those ones that just have a little bit of a mask on them and keep only the fully masked items. So then again, you can control tap in your document or hit this inverse button and now you just have those objects. So again, you can use visibility for this, control shift A using control shift, but uh, it is nice to either go through here, hit grow all and grab what you need like so, or again, overshoot it and just everything you have completely masked, shrink all, and then grab what you want. Actually, I lied, there's three masking changes. I forgot about the one that's in the crease menu now. So underneath tool, geometry, crease, there is a crease unmasked and uncrease unmasked. So if there's any areas on your mesh that you wanna have creased, you can hold down control, alt, uh, and unmask those areas. And then you can say crease unmask and anything that doesn't have a mask will be creased. And then you can also uncrease unmask. So anything that's unmasked, you can uncrease. So it's kind of up to you. You know, for example, if I wanna crease this line right here, again, I can control alt drag over this and then say crease, oops, crease unmasked. And that'll go ahead and crease that line. Of course, like I said, there's any number of ways to crease this, you know, like with your Z modeler brush, you can say crease edge loop complete. You can go through here and for example, say mask, 
edge loop complete. So you can mask this, control tap to invert that, and then say crease unmasked. You can go into your masking options and say like mask by curvature or mask by normals or mask by cavity and mask your object. And then again, just keep in mind that you do have underneath the crease menu, a crease unmasked, if that's useful to you. Um, obviously I haven't played with this enough to really find an awesome use for this, but if you do find one, please, Drop it in the comments because I would also like to know where this might come in handy.